Hello friend, let me welcome you in my third example on synchronization. Here my objective is to print numbers like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, something like this. Let it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, something like this. But my objective here is that these numbers would get print by different thread. I have put it one maximum limit. Let's say I have given it to 8 only. Now I have my class public class main 4. I have basically public static void main spring argument. Here I have list my list integer my list integer max is equal to 8. I have system dot out print and this for some to show you some output. Now I have thread t1. Now I have one in one thread. I have initialized it with n is equal to one. I have synchronized my list. My list. I have synchronized this list. While max is greater than or equal to my list dot size. Initially, what would be the size of my list? Zero. And max is eight, so it is greater than eight. Now, if my list dot size double equal to zero, that is, it is putting the first entry, then put my list dot add n, and what is the value of n? It is one. Else, system dot at println thread one, my list dot get my list dot size minus one. It will go and print the, it will get the last number, and it will get that from the list. It will have the size. Let's say my list has two number in it. So it will get the 2 minus 1 and it will get that from the my list and it will print out. I have just put it this system dot out and for debugging. n is equal to my list dot get my list dot size minus 1. Whatever I am getting here, I have put it in n. That is, if initially I am getting my last number as 7, so now I will add one number to 7 and put that into my and I have add that number and and will put that into my list. If this is giving me last number as two, then this will get me last number two. This here I will do two plus plus. So here I am adding three. Now I am just going after that and putting into the my list dot wait. Now I am printing out system dot dot print and one my list. Let me first comment this for you. We'll see it afterwards. Now I'm coming to thread 2. It is similar to thread 1. I have again put n is equal to 1. I don't know thread 1 will start from will first or thread 2 will start from first. Synchronize my list again same, but here I have just thread 2. Then I have just same logic here and plus plus. I have said my list dot wait, but this time I have said my list dot notify. Okay, then I have said system dot print ln to my list. Okay, then I have thread three new thread int again n is equal to one. I have synchronized my list while my list is greater than this. Again, that same logic system dot out print ln. I let me comment it back n is equal to n plus plus. Here I have done my list of notify all. That means it will notify only one thread. That is only one thread, but it will notify all the waiting threads. After that, it will himself go to wait state and it will print out the print element 3 my list. Let me save this for you and let me run this for you. So I am getting basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Why I am getting 9? I am checking the condition for greater than or equal to. So one number extra I will get. But in all the three threads are putting me that. Now the question comes around what these threads have initially. If you will say this is the hierarchy that I am getting. Second thread initially gets 1, 2, 3. First will have 3 then it will add 1 to it. 3 will have till this and it will add 1 to this. Again, 1 will come and it will see, okay, 5. 
it will add 1 to it. Second, it will have 6, then it will have 7 to it. 3, it will have 7, it will add 1 to it. 2, it will add 1 to it. Then all this gets stopped because max condition is not matching there. So this is like a tree I have initially by synchronization. Now, for debugging purpose, I have put it this line. Let me go and decommit this for you. And now let me run it back. This is thread one. Uh, let me save it. And let me run it back. What is this? It is giving you the number that I am getting in the thread one. Thread one is getting four. Thread one is getting six. And these two numbers are get by the thread one. If you will go and see what I am getting in thread one and thread two. Uh, yes, and let me say so let me comment this. What so small time? Let me come here. Let me go here. Comment this part. That's much. Now let me go and run this for you. Now you will see thread two. Have started first, thread 2 1, thread 3 2, and thread 2 again 3. Thread 1, uh, now this gets 4. Now, when I'm printing it in my third, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because thread 3 has 5 here. Thread 1 6, thread 2 7, and third thread has this number where 8 is getting printed by the third thread, and third thread has 1, 2, 3, 9. There is one point that I want to point it here. I have point synchronization, but these numbers are exactly not distributed between all the three threads. I have eight numbers. I am distributing the load to print this number by synchronization, but that is not equally distributed. This point you need to mention it here. I am keeping it again here. In this code, I am distributing the load of Printing all the numbers till maximum number between the three threads and they are printing in a sequence. But that load is not distributed equally. This is important point here. Thanks friend for watching this video.